topic. It's not the issue tonight. I want to talk about America. I really, really love America. I mean, it's <laughs> one of the yeah, one of the greatest country I've ever been to, except Israel and the Netherlands. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> I really, really love America, really do. There's just one thing that scares me a lot. It's American gun affection, you know? Everyone, no matter who's walking next to you, he might be armed as fuck. And I was talking to an American once about that gun affection. I was like, why, why is it that every American is allowed to carry guns, you know? And he was like, because we have to protect our family and property. And I was like, okay, from what? From gunfire, man, everyone is carrying one. <laughs> Okay, okay. You know, <laughs> Europeans admire America a lot. Um, unfortunately, they don't know much about it, except stereotypes, you know. Um, and when I told a friend of mine that I was going to Georgia, USA, he was like, that's, that's great, that's great, Chris, that, that's so great, get me a cowboy hat. <laughs> I was like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to Georgia. Oh, yeah, yeah, Georgia, my fault, my fault, Georgia, yeah. Um, get me a picture of uh, Miss Liberty. Georgia, it's Georgia. Oh, yeah, 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 Georgia. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, get me the corpse of Ray Charles. There you go. Uh, I could do that, but um, the security guys uh, said it's not the best idea I ever had, so I had to drop it at the airport. You can, you can pick it up there. Yeah. yeah, I stayed at a friend's house in America. He's, he's here tonight. Casey, say hello to the audience. Hi, audience. Hi, Casey. We are alcoholics. No. <laughs> So I stayed at his house, and um, I don't know what the gun amendment in your constitution says exactly. I can't quote it by heart, but if it doesn't say every American is allowed to own an arsenal of weapons of mass destruction, then your house is illegal, man. Okay? Always wanted to tell you. If the, the U.S. Army should ever run out of guns, they come and ring your bell. Sir, we need half of your guns to invade Iraq. Today, sign him. Yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a funny week, you know. Um, and after the week, I was supposed to uh, leave the United States from America's most beautiful airport in the most beautiful place people ever have created to worship God Detroit, Michigan. You know, um, I showed pictures of Detroit to my grandma once, and um, yeah, she had to cry because the pictures reminded her of Berlin in 1945. <laughs> it wasn't funny! <laughs> it was a bad guy. Um, <laughs> did you ever try that? Uh, go to a very shiny, beautiful place and call your friends at home to make them jealous? Like, uh, hey, guess where I am? I can see the Eiffel Tower! The Eiffel Tower! Don't do that from Detroit! Because phone calls from Detroit always start like... <laughs> Send me some money, I got robbed! <laughs> and Ray! <laughs> Anyone here from Detroit? I, I don't think so. I don't hope yeah. so. Yeah! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy how American <laughs> culture actually uh, influenced um, the rest of the world, don't you think so? I'm from a small German town, some thousand residents, I'm not, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, it's a nice place. But there are some kids between 14 and, let's say, 17 or 18, who think they might be in the wrong place. Because they listen to hip-hop music. And that makes them gangsters. <laughs> Dangerous gangsters. So, um, I can see them walking my way when I'm going through my town, you know? And... <laughs> Dress, dress like Little John and uh, talk in English like Arnold Schwarzenegger, even worse, I guess. Whenever you look at them too long, they go like, I look at me, I'm dangerous. Life is about bitches and money, motherfucker. <laughs> okay. 
See, uh, let's let's grab a bunch of those kids and place them in the worst and most fucked up neighborhood of an American city, and you can watch how a completely new rap artist is born, Lil Doo Doo. <laughs> First hit single when shit hits the pants. <laughs> Yeah. Talking about hip hop, my um, favorite native speaker of English is and always will be 50 Cent. <laughs> I like him. I like him a lot. You know, when when 50 Cent comes to a German TV show, what he keeps on doing for some reason, um, he enters the studio smiling like he's always smiling, you know, and <laughs> he sits down and um, you know, the most fucked up guy, the poorest guy in the whole room is not the host. It's the guy who has to translate 50 cent. Because <laughs> it's a two-step system. First he has to translate 50's made-up language into English, and then English into German. So the host goes like, Hello 50 cent. How do you like Germany? And 50 cent goes like, uh, You know, I is game, you know, this is a great kind of, you know, I really like it, I see. The translator pauses a really long time. Because <laughs> he didn't get a single word. Then he goes like... Well? 50 Cent uh, uh, likes uh, Germany. And his favorite color is uh, green. <laughs> and blue. You know, um, if, uh, if, if Barack Obama should win the presidential elections, he should pick 50 cents for the job of vice president. I'm not kidding. There are three reasons to do it. First, 50 cents got a suit. I saw him wearing a suit. Second, he could give the funniest public announcements and speeches you've ever heard of, and you won't even know what he's talking about. But two weeks later, you read in the newspaper that the tax level gets raised twice a week. I tell you, I tell you. Third reason is, um, he might be the first vice president uh, you can send to Dallas and you don't have to worry about his safety. He got shot nine times, I mean, come on. It's a hard job for a sniper. <laughs> Kids from school, man! Darn! Whoa! 50 Cent Vice President of the United States. I'd love to see that. And Speaker of the Black House? Might be... Might be Method Man. You all remember Method Man? From the Wu-Tang Clan, yeah? yeah? Method Man, that guy? Wait a minute. That guy. <laughs> Hey yo, some bad shit that went down on us today, man. Our crew's missus fucked up the wrong missus, man. Wrong targets, born I'm saying. I'm sorry, man, but shit happens every damn day, man. So who got questions? Who got questions? Who got questions, huh? Big booty bitch in the back. What's your question? Yes, uh, Mr. Method Man, um, first, my boot is not that big, uh, and second, um, is it right that the United States are getting a new national anthem? Yeah, that's damn right, shorty. I went to, with, this, with Timbaland to the fucking studio, man, we recorded that shit. It's called USA Ain't Nothing to Fuck With. Thank you. Woo!